So as we've previously heard, skeletal muscle is made up of numerous elongated muscle cells that are often known as muscle fibres. These fibres, in turn, are comprised of many, many myofilaments that are made up of those contractile units called sarcomeres, where we find the special proteins myosin and actin. Now, it might be easy to think of a single muscle fibre as being similar to a single strand of spaghetti in a whole bunch. Each individual muscle fibre is coated in a fine connective tissue sheath known as endomesium. And this is where we find many nerves and blood vessels that are essential for good muscle function. Just like individual strands of spaghetti are bundled together to form a whole packet, individual muscle fibres are bundled together and are then known as a fascicle. So the connective tissue sheath that surrounds a fascicle is known as the perimesium. You could sort of think of this as being like the, the wrapper that keeps the spaghetti packet together. Now in the perimesium, we also find lots of nerves and blood vessels. But this is not a muscle. A muscle is made up of many fascicles all bound together. So by all our fascicles in their perimesium packets stacked together, and then surrounded by yet another connective tissue sheath called the epimesium, we finally have the structure of a skeletal muscle. So I guess this is how packets of spaghetti are bundled up to deliver to a store. And they definitely need the same type of tough covering as the epimesium that muscle tissue has. So if we now look at an image of the connective tissue sheaths of a skeletal muscle, See if you can identify the features we have just been comparing to the spaghetti fibres and the way they are grouped together and wrapped in the different wrappings. Muscle fibre, endomesium, fascicle, perimesium, epimesium. In this image, can you see how the outside muscle sheath, the epimesium, is continuous with the tendon that joins the muscle to the bone? The tendon has no blood supply of its own, so that makes it very white and easy to differentiate from the epimesium, which overlays blood-rich red muscle tissue.